that frequency is your circuit theory will fail i mean uh, instead of dealing with voltages you have to deal with uh, the transit time effect also so while studying uh, transmission line analysis i introduced you to this transit time effect and the transit time effect valla we have to deal with uh, voltage waves and current waves in jusam but of course even if you go to higher frequencies instead of having a transverse electromagnetic waves okay we have even higher order modes like tm and de modes and these modes needs maxwell equations uh, uh, to to analyze the propagation for transverse electromagnetic waves the propagation can be analyzed in terms of voltages and currents okay but basically these are not simple voltages they are voltage waves right voltage waves and current waves like uh, so that is transmission line analysis which we can work on so the thing is um, in network theory usually when you have uh, a circuit uh, like uh, for example uh, the common thing which we do is usually we deal with the two port networks okay so the common uh, networks which we most of the time deal in circuit analysis is two port network we give some input and we we want some output so how do you design this block how do you design this block uh, is what our target is usually in the circuit theory say for example if you give if you want to design an amplifier okay so you need to give a gain so the if you give an input voltage va and if you have an output voltage v not we want to amplify the voltage signal how do you design the box so e e box lo design just a network name okay for this network we usually define two port parameters like z parameters y parameters or even h parameters okay so that once you have idea regarding these parameters actually what is happening inside the block is not necessary okay only the parameters are enough to analyze the relationship between input and output so most of the time uh, we give some input and we are expecting some output so how do you design that circuit or what kind of parameters are needed to the circuit to get the required response so that is what we used to look in it so network analysis and and for using the kirchhoff laws and all you can derive what kind of circuit parameters you can have or if you want say for example uh, you want some delay okay how do you create a delay element because we know that we need some kind of capacitor element in there in order to create some delay so at laga uh, how do you design the network is all that matters uh, you know for two port networks for a given input and an output we want so this is two port networks but you can also have multi port networks maybe you can have a scenario where you are taking output from two ports whereas you are giving input from a single port so these kind of networks also have network parameters okay what we want to do is we want to extend this analysis to microwave frequencies so when you are dealing at microwave frequencies we know that if if uh, on the circuit if a transverse electromagnetic wave is propagating we can deal with in terms of voltages and currents so when i can deal with voltages and currents still maybe i can use the z parameters and y parameters but once i start dealing with even higher order modes like tm and de modes okay then what kind of uh, microwave per network analysis i have to do and more or what are microwave networks because say for example if i have a resistor like this and i have a resistor and i have a capacitor like this okay so maybe i can think this block diagram so this is a block and here is my input and here is my output okay so maybe this looks like a two port network so local circuits are like that what do you mean by microwave network okay of course the same network can be analyzed at microwave frequencies and how it works okay so at micro frequencies uh, still can i use the same z parameters which i derived in the low frequencies low frequencies lo derive chesin analysis saripothada or high frequencies lo analysis marchala uh, alage uh, say for example i can have scenarios where there are wave guide junctions like for example uh, uh, in your lab for ex- in your lab if you see slotted line section teeskunte so inside the waveguide they are keeping a probe 
okay so i can say this is like a conversion so from the wave gate so from the wave gate the the output is uh, given into a coaxial cable right and wave gate ninchi coaxial line ki connection create chesaru so at the connection what is happening means at the junction where the wave gate and the coaxial cable and the coaxial line are joining okay at that junction what is happening to the wave or how the wave is behaving or can we uh, give an equivalent network model to that analysis okay so we know that uh because an electromagnetic wave if it is traveling in a wave gate it will have some wave impedance and inside a coaxial line the coaxial line can have some wave impedance here a transverse electromagnetic wave is propagating and here we know that a t10 mode is propagating so the t10 mode which is propagating in a wave gate has to convert into a transverse or it has to couple its energy into a transverse electromagnetic wave so at this junction the conversion is happening or the energy here is coupled into this tm mode so how much energy is coupled or how this conversion is happening we can model this with an equivalent network okay so how do you model it with a network is what we deal in micro network analysis right so because why do you uh, uh, means why do we create this equivalent network center because we are very much accustomed with network theory and uh, that gives us more and instead of dealing with waves and maxwell equations if if we can create some equivalent networks uh, then uh, the analysis becomes easier right so let us see the micro networks so usually uh, the one port network is a famous one we have dealt with this in transmission line analysis so for example if there is a transmission line if it is connected with a load right so we know that from the at the load we can calculate the so the, you can think this as a one port network right so the single port network right so this is your device and this is your port so the single port network in the single port network uh, the parameters which you can analyze is you can calculate the impedance at the input terminals or you can calculate the admittance or you can calculate the reflection coefficient so the idea of reflection coefficient basically gives you how much power is transferred into the network and how much power is reflected back but if we go to multi port networks so if, instead of having a single port now you have multiple ports okay this is just like uh, okay junction uh, ఒక హైవే తీసుకున్నారు అనుకోండి ఇఫ్ యూ థింక్ అబౌట్ జంక్షన్ రైట్ ద వెహికల్స్ కెన్ బి కమింగ్ ఫ్రమ్ ఎనీ డైరెక్షన్ ఆర్ ఐ కెన్ సే ద వేవ్స్ ద వోల్టేజ్ వేవ్స్ కెన్ బి కమింగ్ ఫ్రమ్ ఎనీ డైరెక్షన్స్ అండ్ వాట్ హ్యాపెన్స్ హౌ ద వేవ్ ఇస్ గోయింగ్ ఇన్ టు వేరియస్ జంక్షన్స్ అంటే డిఫరెంట్ లేన్స్లోకి సో ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ సమ్ కార్స్ ఆర్ కమింగ్ లైక్ దిస్ ఓకే సో ఎన్ ఐ కెన్ ఆస్ క్వశ్చన్ లైక్ హౌ మెనీ కార్స్ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ స్ట్రైట్ ఆర్ హౌ మెనీ కార్స్ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ ఇన్ దిస్ డైరెక్షన్ ఆర్ హౌ మెనీ కార్స్ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ ఇన్ దిస్ డైరెక్షన్ right or i can also look at how many cars are returning back ila tirigi malli venakku vachestina cars anni okay so many things can happen right at the junction okay if you think about a simple road junction okay you can imagine it as a multi port network means a, an electrical signal is coming into the circuit and uh, depending upon the behavior of your circuit it can either go into one port or it can come back or it can go to the other port right so when you have multiple ports so ante usually single port networks anavi uh, one port networks kante uh, microwave frequencies lo we usually use ports uh, multiple port networks ne ki use chestu untam uh, few examples i can give you is one of this is a directional coupler i think in the lab you have seen we'll see the applications of directional coupler afterwards but here you can see it's a four port network okay uh there are uh, other four port networks like hybrid couplers and all okay so one example where we'll use four port network is in communication systems communication systems so usually we draw the block diagrams like this i think i guess in the lab i have explained that whenever you need quadrature signals so if it is a local oscillator and here you want cos 2 pi fct and but whereas here you want sin 2 pi fct okay so 
this this network here okay how do we usually design this network and we use uh, uh, quadrature hybrids so we have usually we have a four port network like this and here the local oscillator signal is given and this local oscillator signal without any phase shift zero degrees phase shift but here you get a same local oscillator signal with a 90 degrees phase shift if uh, then this this port is actually closed or usually we match terminated so you can see this is a four port network which is converted into a three port so ante ikkada meek ikkada block diagram lo simply local oscillator and jeppi itla rendu arrows petti vachestha antaru but how do you practically design this practically what you are asking for is i give so local oscillator it might be a crystal oscillator or it can be an oscillator which is designed by you using amplifier networks and all okay so so local oscillator so meer oka oscillator ni design chesar okay so you have designed an oscillator and it is giving you output so from this output what i have to want i want this output to be divided into two parts again right so into one port uh so in the one port i want cos 2 pi fct in the other port i want sin 2 pi fct so e junction edaithe undo this is what i'm calling as a microwave network okay so here you can see this is the input this is the first port this is the second port and this is the third port so i can think of this as a three port network so when you or for example ila vachin signals ni modulate chesin signals ni if you remember in a communication systems usually you join the signals like this and you give it to the ikkada output asthadi under okay so or ikkada edo summer lagapothe ila multiplier multiplier undalandi maybe you sum the signals and you give it so how do you sum two signals so is it like uh, you you take two wires and you join the two wires అంటే ఇలా ఒక సిగ్నల్ వస్తుంది అనుకోండి ఇట్లా ఒక సిగ్నల్ వస్తుంది ఓకే ఈ రెండు సిగ్నల్స్ ని జాయిన్ చేసి ఇందులో అవుట్పుట్ లో పంపించాలి సో సే ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఏ సిగ్నల్ ఇస్ కమింగ్ ఫియర్ అండ్ బి సిగ్నల్ ఇస్ కమింగ్ ఫ్రమ్ హియర్ ఐ వాంట్ ఏ ప్లస్ బి ఓకే సో డూ యూ థింక్ ఇఫ్ ఐ జస్ట్ సింప్లీ యాడ్ ద వైర్స్ లైక్ దిస్ దే విల్ దే విల్ యాడ్ సిగ్నల్స్ యాడ్ అయిపోతాయా అంటే నో ఓకే సంథింగ్ మస్ట్ హ్యాపన్ రైట్ సో సో హౌ డూ డిజైన్ దిస్ నెట్వర్క్ ఓకే ఈ నెట్వర్క్ ని ఎట్లా డిజైన్ చేస్తే సో ఐ కెన్ యాడ్ ద సిగ్నల్స్ ఆర్ ఐ కెన్ సబ్ ట్రాక్ ద సిగ్నల్స్ సో మోస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ద టైమ్ వెన్ యూఆర్ డీలింగ్ ఇన్ కమ్యూనికేషన్ సిస్టమ్స్ ఆర్ వెన్ యూఆర్ డీలింగ్ వెన్ యూఆర్ ట్రైంగ్ టు రౌట్ సిగ్నల్స్ ఆర్ వెన్ యూఆర్ ట్రైంగ్ టు మ్యానిపులేట్ సిగ్నల్స్ ఆర్ డూ సమ్ మ్యాథమెటికల్ ఆపరేషన్స్ ఆన్ సిగ్నల్స్ సో ద ఇంప్లిమెంటేషన్ పార్ట్ రిక్వైర్స్ సమేషన్ ఆఫ్ ద సిగ్నల్స్ ఆర్ యూ యూ హ్యావ్ సినారియోస్ వేర్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు డివైడ్ ద పవర్ or you have to combine the power right or uh, you have scenarios where you have to sample the signal so you learn the scenarios and not to learn and instead of dealing with a single port network we'll be dealing with multi port networks so so those are few examples of multi port networks so how do you characterize a multi port network so because a single port network you can characterize it with a reflection coefficient but whereas when you have multiple ports inside your network how do you characterize it so to characterize multiple multi port networks usually in the circuit theory we use uh, z mat z parameters like impedance matrix and impedance matrix but once you deal with waves okay once you start dealing with the wave analysis then the parameter the matrix which is used to analyze a multi port networks is a scattering matrix okay so before uh, jumping into the scattering matrix uh, maybe i'll talk a little bit uh, regarding the imp- impedance and uh, impedance matrices but before starting the impedance and impedance matrix i was saying that if you have a tm wave you can define voltages and currents but if you have uh, if you are dealing with the tm or te waves we cannot define voltages and currents and we have to use maxwell equations okay so why do we why can't we define voltage and currents if it is a tm or te wave 
అంటే ఒక ట్రాన్స్ఫర్స్ ఎలక్ట్రో మ్యాగ్నెటిక్ వేవ్ అయితే వీ కెన్ డిఫైన్ వోల్టేజ్ అండ్ కరెంట్ బట్ ఇఫ్ ఎట్ ఆల్ యువర్ గైడింగ్ స్ట్రక్చర్ ఇస్ క్యారింగ్ ఎ వేవ్ విచ్ ఈస్ లైక్ టీఈ ఆర్ టీఎం వీ కెనాట్ డిఫైన్ వోల్టేజ్ అండ్ కరెంట్స్ వై వీ కెనాట్ డూ ఇట్ సో లెట్ ఎస్ టేక్ సమ్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్స్ అండ్ సి ఓకే సో వెన్ ఎవర్ యూ హ్యావ్ టూ కండక్టర్స్ రెండు కండక్టర్స్ ఉన్నాయి అనుకోండి యూజువల్లీ uh if you have two or more conductors the kind of electromagnetic wave that that propagates on this guiding structures is a transverse electromagnetic wave and uh, because the fields are uh, transverse and they include they will propagate a electric and magnetic fields they will only have uh, say for example if if i take a line like this uh, okay which is in z direction and if i take this plane okay if i take this plane this xy plane which is perpendicular to the z direction your electric field and magnetic field will have only components maybe you can have only electric field and x component magnetic field y component undachu or you can have both ex and dy component or you can have hx and hy component but you will not have z component adhe kada transverse electric so if i say tm wave that means ez component is zero and hz component is also zero for uh, this this kind of uh, lines ante ilanti guiding structures meda propagate out an electromagnetic wave ki they can only have transverse components they don't have any longitudinal components so once they don't have this kind of longitudinal components you can always define because what happens is for such kind of electric fields we saw that the curl of the transverse components is always zero when the curl of the transverse component becomes zero you can always define voltages for these kind of uh, 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 i mean these kind of electric fields ki elant electric fields ki voltages phenomena another define cheyachu but the voltage phenomena what happens is that voltage is not uh, constant everywhere but instead this voltages become the function of z okay and uh, voltages etla untay anade transmission line analysis lo chusamo we said that they behave like waves and all so uh because we can define tm waves here we can define voltage and current waves along the transmission line and we have the ratio of this voltage and current we have also defined as something called characteristic impedance of the lines but once we go to wave gates say for example if i take a wave gate and if a dominant mode t10 mode is propagating in the wave gate so can i define a voltage on the wave gate so the problem is if you want to define voltage okay so usually the electric field of a t10 mode looks like this the electric field will have y component right the electric field y component untadi so for t10 mode because it is transverse electric ez component is zero okay but once you solve for the maxwell equations and find the solution you get that ex will also be equal to zero as well as uh, hy will also be equal to zero you will have only two components i mean you have ey component you have hx component and you have hz component so these are the components you have for uh, t10 mode right so your electric field will basically in the y direction and it has a pattern shape which is given by sin pi x by a that is what that in majjalo in the middle of the wave gate you will have maximum amplitude for the electric field whereas uh, as you go to the edge of the wave gate the electric field strength will become zero and uh, what does it mean that means uh, in the middle at every point the magnitude will be 5 and uh, maybe any points the graph field magnitude 4 untadi maybe any points the graph field magnitude is 4 ikkada one any points the graph 3 ikkada one any points the graph the electric field magnitude is 3 and so on so at the edge what happens is at the edge the electric field magnitude is 0 and uh, the field is only changing with respect to x and x direction lo ne field martha tappa y direction lo field change avu so that is a solution which we have so if we have such kind of electric field can i define voltages for the such kind of electric field so define voltage voltage is nothing but integral e bar dot dl and create chesu kabatti say if i take uh, the integration between 0 and b okay i mean along the y direction y direction lo electric field ఏ డైరెక్షన్ లో ఉంది అంటే వై డైరెక్షన్ లో ఉంది కాబట్టి ఆ డైరెక్షన్ లో పొటెన్షియల్ డిఫరెన్స్ ని మెజర్ చేస్తాం సో యూజువలీ ఇఫ్ యూ రిమెంబర్ కెపాసిటర్ సో ద ఎలక్ట్రిక్ ఫీల్డ్ బిట్వీన్ ద ప్లేట్స్ ఇస్ లైక్ దిస్ పాజిటివ్ నెగిటివ్ సో యూజువలీ యూ డిఫైన్ వి యాజ్ ద ఇంటిగ్రల్ ఆఫ్ ఈ బార్ డాట్ డిఎల్ బార్ అండ్ యూ టేక్ డిఎల్ బార్ ఇన్ దిస్ డైరెక్షన్ రైట్ సో 
ikkada kuda along the direction of electric field if you try to find what is the potential difference so if you try to integrate if you take tl bar as a dy into ay cap and if you take the dot product because electric field has only y component so it basically the voltage becomes uh, integral uh, e ante ikkada ey component is this so j omega mu a pi a sin pi x pi a into dy but you can see that this integration is with respect to y so you can bring this whole term outside so ee mottham term byadi iskoste okay uh, you are left with only parameter called dy integral y dy okay so what is the answer for this so the answer anta ante obviously uh, you are you are doing an integration to zero to b okay y direction lo chestunna kabatti zero to b undu kabatti the answer b vastadi kan ikkada oka issue chudandi issue enti ante this voltage if i put x equal to zero indulo endante ikkada konni points endante observe cheyalasindi the voltage depends on the paths x and y ante ikkada for example if i choose a path which is going at x equal to a by 2 x equal to a by 2 degar nunchi path ee path choose cheskunna ankonde so because i have to do an integration along y direction so if i choose this path on this path the potential difference will be how much x equal to a by 2 pedthe you get sin pi as 1 you get a maximum value but adhe for example if i take a path difference uh, say if i choose a path like this if i choose a path which is on x equal to 0 so when i put x equal to 0 you can see the whole integration becoming zero ante depending upon different path ante path nenu a value of x dagara teeskunna anna dani batti naaku different values of potentials vastunay so there is no unique potential difference that can be given to this uh, wave gate ante for example ee wave gate lo oka transverse electromagnetic wave anadi propagate avutunte alanti electric fields ki you cannot define voltages and of course it is true because enduku define cheyalam ante idi mathematically ga explain cheyatam but you can simply understand it by seeing that there is only one conductor okay if there is a single conductor usually potential is like a difference right so if there are two conductors then you can say there is a, some potential difference between the two plates or two two conductors but here it is a single conductor so you can never have a potential difference the whole if you the whole conductor will be at a single potential because conductors are nothing but an equipotentials so you cannot define potential difference uh for these kind of waves so you cannot define voltage for these kind of waves so you can't define voltages so under wave gate lo voltages ni define cheyalam but adi pedda issue na ante definitely it's not an issue you have to deal with uh, maxwell equations and analyze the uh, propagation propagation kaane vandi power ent velindi vitanni analyze cheyadaniki maxwell equations ni use chesukochu kaani the maxwell equations are very much complex to deal with okay because the wave gate it can support many other higher order modes not only just t10 mode it can support higher order modes like t11 mode or tm11 mode and so on okay usually you can design your wave gate such that only a dominant wave mode is propagating but still even if the dominant mode is propagating then also you cannot directly define voltages and currents so so in order to address this situation because we want to define voltages and currents because if we can create an equivalent transmission line model okay so ikkada problem enti ante so transmission line analysis deals with voltages and currents because usually those kind of lines support transverse electromagnetic waves but these higher order structures where in wave gates lanti structures enti ante they don't support uh, transverse electromagnetic waves so you cannot use transmission line analysis here so that can create an issue okay endukante for example you take a scenario that you have a wave gate like this and uh, you wave gate lo you made a hole and uh, you have connected a coaxial cable a coaxial cable ni connect chesaru atlaaga so what you are doing you are connecting the wave gate with a coaxial line 
so in the way we have get a d mod d10 will be propagating but whereas in the coaxial line a tm wave will be propagating so at the junction e junction dagara enta power couple ayindi how much power is coupled or how much uh, energy is coupled from t10 mod to tm mod ante because i can define tm waves in this coaxial line i can use transmission line analysis here but in the wave gate i cannot use transmission line analysis because i cannot define voltages and currents there so to address this issue what people did is they went for an indirect method and the wave guides lo kuda voltages currents ni how can we define in an indirect way so how do we do it ante so whenever you are dealing with a uh, non tm waves so when you are dealing with the non tm lines and ekade the transfers magnetic and transfers electric modes and to propagate out there we can define not the exact voltages we define some something called equivalent voltages and currents okay and equivalent in the sense uh, these voltages and currents are not the actual voltages and currents on the line and the line mein meer measure chesta ant voltage vastad anka so an analysis purpose kosam we are creating some kind of equivalent voltages and currents so that we can uh, apply even transmission line analysis to our wave gates so equivalent voltage currents ela define chestam ante so for a given wave gate how do you define an equivalent uh, voltage and current ante the, there are three set of rules which you have to follow to create this equivalent voltage and currents so for the first rule is that the voltage should be proportional to your transverse electric field so inside your wave gate so the wave guide lo z direction lo wave travel avutund ankonde so you can have some transverse electric field components so you can have ex and dy components so ex and dy components magnitudes ki proportional ga nee voltage undali alage nee hx and hy components ki proportional ga nu define chese currents undali adi first rule and the second rule is the equivalent voltages and currents no no create chesina equivalent voltages and currents evaithe unnayo aa currents ni multiply chesina appudu those currents should give you the power flowing in the wave gate ante oka wave gate lo through a transverse plane so ee plane nunchi enta power enter avutadi ante if you remember the power that is going into the wave gate transverse plane depends only on the transverse components e transfers and h transfers components meda depend avuthu so ante mana power expression wave gates ki derive chesinappudu the power expression only included ex ey hx and hy ekkada ez component gaani hz component gaani expression lo raadu so the power that is flowing into the wave gate because usually the power is like uh, uh, because you are trying to find the power that is flowing into the wave gate so the power that is flowing into the wave gate is nothing but uh, you do surface integration over the pointing vector dot the surface normal is surface ki normal endante z cap vastad kabatti so what happens is you usually don't uh, uh, deal with uh, components that are having ex that are having ez component or hz component so ee expression la ikkada raavu so no define just no voltage and current so if you make them proportional to your uh, transverse electric and transverse magnetic fields then the equivalent power okay when you take the product of this equivalent voltage and currents they should give you the power that is flowing through the wave gates ala design cheyagalgal alage the last thing is when you take the ratio of this voltage and currents that should be equal to the wave impedance ante no teeskona voltage and currents ela undali ante the voltage by current ratio teeskunte that should be equal to the wave impedance so the wave impedance here is for t10 mode aithe t10 ki equal avali so ee set of rules nana so ee rules ela vachine sir ekka nunchi vachine ante deeniki oka pedda proof undi okay so we take the transfers general uh, electric and magnetic fields uh, inside a wave gate and we can prove that if you take ante uh, transfers components of electric and magnetic fields ki proportional ga voltage or currents define cheyagaligithe you can uh, use those voltages and currents just like we use it in transmission line analysis okay i'm not going to give, show you the mathematical proof but maybe with an example 
i can show you how it is useful okay say for example let us take a scenario like this so there are two wave gates okay oka rendu wave gates unnai anukundam okay so so there are two wave gates or maybe a single wave gate is there and uh, in this wave gate half of the region half of the region is is filled with nothing air undi and the other half is actually filled with uh, some material okay. the other half of the wave gate is filled with material okay so the side view is what is shown here so for z less than 0 the wave gate is filled with air for z greater than 0 it is filled with some uh, some uh, material whose epsilon r is 2.54 okay so now the question is if a t10 mode is incident here okay say for example the dominant mode that is traveling inside this wave gate is only t10 mode and there is no other mode that is propagating so once this mode hits this boundary what i want to find is how much how much amount of uh, this uh, wave is transmitted and how much amount is reflected back definitely there will be some reflection and some amount of power will be transmitted so id analyze cheyataniki if it is a transmission line then it would be is a transmission line aithe indante simply if there is a transmission line two transmission lines are connected at the boundary how much wave is reflected ante ikkada impedance z0 idi z1 ankonde then if i have two transmission lines with different impedances the amount of reflection that is happening is nothing but z1 minus z0 by z1 plus z0 in calculate charge but these are wave gates so in the wave gates you cannot define voltage and currents so there is no way you can imply those analysis but nene want na ante even for the wave gates for a given mode you can always apply uh, you can create an equivalent voltage and currents or you can create an equivalent transmission line analysis and so that is this so the equivalent transmission line analysis gives you that uh say t10 mode is propagating okay uh so for a given t10 mode you can define an equivalent uh, voltages and currents equivalent voltage currents transverse components create chesi and you can create an equivalent transmission line model whose characteristic impedance will be the wave impedance of this t10 mode so and ikkada wave impedance enta ante i can say that it is for t10 mode you know the wave impedance formula so z t10 mode ki so the wave impedance you can calculate okay so if i calculate the wave impedance for this k eta not by beta propagation constant calculate just catch this i get a wave impedance of 500 ante ee wave guide lo velthana wave ki impedance entu untadu ante 500 ohms undi అదే ఒకవేళ ఈ ఈ వేవ్ గైడ్ లో ఒక డి వన్ జీరో మోడ్ ప్రాపగేట్ అవ్వాలి అంటే ఆ వేవ్ కి ఎంత ఇంపిడెన్స్ ఉంటుంది అన్నది క్యాలిక్యులేట్ చేస్తే ఫర్ దాట్ వేవ్ ద ఇంపిడెన్స్ విల్ బి టూ ఫిఫ్టీ నైన్ పాయింట్ సిక్స్ ఆమ్స్ ఓకే సో దీనికి ఈక్వల్ అండ్ ట్రాన్స్మిషన్ అండ్ మోడల్ ఏంటంటే యూ కెన్ ఇమాజిన్ దట్ మేబీ టూ వేవ్ టూ లైన్స్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ కైండ్ ఆఫ్ ఇంపిడెన్సెస్ ఆర్ అటాచ్ టుగెదర్ అండ్ యూ కెన్ ఫైండ్ వాట్ ఈస్ ఎ రిఫ్లెక్షన్ క్వశ్చన్ So, if reflection coefficient calculate just the and thus the you can find how is nothing but two fifty nine point six minus five hundred divided by two fifty nine point six plus five hundred. So you get some answer. So depending upon the answer, you can find that okay, how much amount of T one zero mode is reflected back and how much is transmitted. So this is not a transmission line analysis where T M wave is propagating, but it will be equivalent analysis. This can go da. You can still try to find how much amount of wave is actually transmitted and how much amount is reflected back so this kind of equivalent analysis for a wave gates can help us okay can help us uh, uh, to deal with uh, wave gate structures also but wave gate structures and ante ipudu ikkada okate mode propagate avutundi kabatti analysis easy ayipindi for example if two modes are propagating both e10 mode and say for example t20 mode could propagate avutund ankonde అప్పుడు మీరు ఏంటంటే టీ వన్ జీరో మోడ్కి ఒక ఈక్వల్ అండ్ నెట్వర్క్ అనాలిసిస్ వేయాలి టీ టూ జీరోకి ఇంకొక ఈక్వల్ అండ్ నెట్వర్క్ అనాలిసిస్ వేయాలి సో ఈ రెండు అనాలిసిస్ లోని ఇండివిజువల్ మోడ్స్ అలాగా ఎంత రేషియో ఆఫ్ పవర్ కన్వర్ట్ అయింది అనేది అనలైజ్ చేయాల్సి వస్తుంది అఫ్ కోర్స్ యూ మైట్ సే సార్ దెర్ కెన్ బి సినారియోస్ వేర్ దెర్ ఇస్ ఓన్లీ టీ వన్ జీరో మోడ్ దట్ ఈస్ ప్రాపగేటింగ్ బట్ హియర్ 
maybe two modes are propagating t10 and t20 mode untai alanti scenarios kuda untai unnapudu etla sir ante appudu kuda you have to create an equivalent network models for different modes okay so it becomes complex ante manam create chesina equivalent voltage and currents model annadi it helps only when there is a single mode that is propagating inside your wave gate if there are multiple modes that are propagating inside your wave gate even this equivalent voltage and current model also becomes complex okay so that is why most of the time we want to deal with a uh, wave gate which is having a single mode uh, propagation but if you have multiple modes then there is no way until a simple ga enta reflect ayind annadi you cannot uh, simply calculate it using an equivalent transmission line model ala calculate cheyalante appudu complete maxwell's analysis use chesi you need to calculate it okay okay so i think ikkada impedance um, yeah ikkada k annadi అంటే ఇక్కడ ఏంటంటే నాన్న ఈ కే అన్నది యాక్చువల్ గా కే ఇస్ వాట్ వెన్ యు ఆర్ ఇన్ సైడ్ ద డైలెక్ట్రిక్ డైలెక్ట్రిక్ లో ఉన్నప్పుడు కే కెన్ బి రిటర్న్ యాజ్ కే ఇస్ యూజువలీ ఒమేగా స్క్వేర్ రూట్ ఆఫ్ మ్యూ మ్యూ నాట్ ఎప్సిల్ నాట్ అంటే స్క్వేర్ రూట్ ఆఫ్ మ్యూ ఆర్ ఎప్సిల్ నార్ ఉంటుంది ఇక్కడ మ్యూ ఆర్ వన్ కాబట్టి దిస్ ఇస్ నథింగ్ బట్ సింప్లీ స్క్వేర్ రూట్ ఆఫ్ ఎప్సిల్ నార్ టైమ్స్ ఒమేగా టైమ్స్ ఆఫ్ స్క్వేర్ రూట్ ఆఫ్ మ్యూ నాట్ ఎప్సిల్ నాట్ omega times the square root of mu naught epsilon naught is nothing but k naught alage what is eta eta ante endante square root of mu by epsilon epsilon which is nothing but square root of mu naught by epsilon naught into square root of 1 by ante mu r 1 kabatti ikkada mu r by epsilon naught raavali mu r emo 1 this is epsilon naught i can write this as eta naught so ante i can say eta is nothing but eta not divided by square root of epsilon naught so once you multiply this to ikkada k into eta chesinappudu you again get k not into eta so basically that square root of epsilon naught cancel out ayipen andukane meek malli numerator la ade vachindi is it okay right right so uh acha panna అవును ఎగ్జాక్ట్ కాదు అదే అంటున్నాను అంటే అంటే ఇట్ ఈస్ నాట్ ఎ ట్రా దిస్ ఈస్ నాట్ ఎ లైన్ అంటే ఈ ట్రాన్స్మిషన్ లైన్ ఏంటి సార్ ఈ ఈజ్ ఇస్ ఎ కోయాక్సిల్ లైన్ ఆర్ ఇస్ ఇట్ ఏ మైక్రోస్టోప్ ఆర్ ఇస్ ఇట్ సంథింగ్ ఇట్ ఏం లేదు ఇస్ మ్యాథమెటికల్ మ్యాథమెటికల్ మోడల్ అంటే ఒక వేవ్ గైడ్కి ఒక మ్యాథమెటికల్ గా ఒక ట్రాన్స్మిషన్ లైన్ ఈక్వలెంట్ మోడల్ తయారు చేస్తాం అంతే ఒకవేళ సింగిల్ మోడ్ ఉంటే అని అక్కడ కూడా యాక్చువల్ గా కూడా అంతే ఉంటుంది అదే చెప్తున్నాను అంటే ఈ అనాలిసిస్ వాడటం వల్ల ఉపయోగం ఏంటంటే అదే అంటే ఇక్కడ ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ నీకు ఇక్కడ రిఫ్లెక్షన్ క్వశ్చన్ క్యాలిక్యులేట్ చేసి ఇక్కడ ఎంత పవర్ రిఫ్లెక్ట్ అయింది అంటే నువ్వు అక్కడ మెజర్ చేస్తే కూడా నీకు అంతే పవర్ రిఫ్లెక్ట్ అవుతుంది రైట్ సో సో వాట్ అంటే ఇలాంటి సినారియోస్లో ఏంటంటే అంటే ఇలాంటి ఈక్వలెంట్ ట్రాన్స్మిషన్ లైన్ మోడల్స్ తయారు చేయడం వల్ల యూ కెన్ ఆల్సో డెవలప్ అన్ ఈక్వల్ అండ్ నెట్వర్క్ టు దిస్ థింగ్ అంటే సే ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఒకవేళ ఇఫ్ ఐ టేక్ ఎ సినారియో లైక్ దిస్ సే ఇఫ్ దెర్ ఈస్ ఎ వేవ్ గైడ్ లైక్ దిస్ ఓకే అండ్ ఇంకొక వేవ్ గైడ్కి ఏంటంటే వాల్ని ఇంక్రీజ్ చేశారు సే లెట్ అస్ ఏ ద హైట్ ఆఫ్ ద వేవ్ గైడ్ ఈస్ ఇంక్రీస్డ్ సో సో ఇఫ్ ఐ థింక్ దిస్ హ్యాస్ వన్ పోర్ట్ అండ్ దిస్ ఈస్ ద సెకండ్ పోర్ట్ సో ఇది ఒక టూ పోర్ట్ నెట్వర్క్ కింద అని అనుకోవచ్చు అంటే ఎట్లా వస్తున్న టీ వన్ జీరో మోడ్ it has to couple to this network right ante ikkada unna t10 mode rendatiliki same properties untay ante undu and of course the transverse component might look the same they will both have ey components but the wave impedance of this wave coming here and the wave impedance of the wave that is traveling in this wave gate will be different so 
how much energy is converted ante ila velthunna electromagnetic wave ante ila velthunna electromagnetic wave lo meer kontha power better anko d10 model lo appudu ila meer wave guide height increase cheyadam valla two things can happen first thing enti ante uh, at the junction okay at the junction ikkada vastunna uh, transverse electromagnetic wave reflect avutadi or ikkada enti ante field anadi ikkada nunchi ikkadaku maaral it has to change so at the junction okay there can be lot of uh, reflections and uh, there can be lot of coupling to the field modes so ikkada enti ante ee junction daggara evanescent modes kuda generate avachu ante you can have both traveling modes and you can have both evanescent modes and energy anadi couple avutunappudu kontha energy anadi it might couple and indulo propagate avutunna t10 mode ikkada t10 mode say for example idi t10 mode 1 andam idi second part lo na t10 mode andam aithe junction daggara there can be many other modes that can be generated and end and higher order modes andam like say for example there can be energy that can be coupled into t11 mode or there can be energy coupled into t22 mode okay kani ivanni endante ee modes anavi they cannot propagate because ee mo- e wave guide lo endante the dominant mode only t10 mode can propagate remaining all modes will be below the cut off frequency so propagate avale so propagate avale nappudu ee modes lo ki energy couple ayindi kada sir mari aa energy em avutadi what happens ante ఒక సైకిల్లో ఆ మోడ్కి ఎనర్జీ ఇచ్చాం అనుకోండి ఇంకొక సైకిల్లో ద ఎనర్జీ ఇస్ గివెన్ బ్యాక్ అగైన్ అంటే సే ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఈ వేవ్ గైడ్ జంక్షన్ దగ్గర అట్ ద జంక్షన్ బికాస్ ఆఫ్ సమ్ బౌండరీ కండిషన్స్ కొన్ని బౌండరీ కండిషన్స్ సాటిస్ఫై చేయడం వల్ల ఓకే మేబీ సమ్ ఎనర్జీ ఇన్ దిస్ టీ వన్ జీరో మోడ్ ఈజ్ యాక్చువల్లీ కపుల్ టు టీ వన్ వన్ మోడ్ ఇన్ దిస్ వేవ్ గైడ్ ఈ సెకండ్ వేవ్ గైడ్లో టీ వన్ వన్ మోడ్కి కపుల్ అయింది అనుకుందాం కానీ the t11 mode cannot propagate in this wave gate propagate avalan scenario und anukundam because maybe t10 mode cut off frequency ikkada und ankonde okay maybe you are operating at this frequency but t11 mode cut off frequency ikkada ikkada undi the cut off frequency of t11 mode is even larger so this this wave cannot propagate in this wave gate so the propagate avaledu kabatti uh, what happens if if you are uh, exciting a mode below the cut off frequency i told you that they are nothing but evanescent modes anna so evanescent modes enti ante they can take energy energy teesukuntai kani ee energy enti ante oka cycle lo energy teesukunte inkoka cycle lo energy ni venakki ichestadi so what is happening ante these are like reactive components okay so you can imagine that there is ante ee junction ni if i can find how much amount of energy is coupled into this t10 mode it e11 mode ki enta energy couple avutundo ani telusukunna ankonde daniki equivalent ga oka reactive component ni nen model cheyachu ante i can model this junction as many things right ante ee junction ni maybe i can model it as some inductance or some capacitance or so okay so depending upon if i can model ante nenu nenu కొంత ఎనర్జీని ఇస్తున్నాను అంటే ఐఎమ్ గివింగ్ సమ్ ఎనర్జీ లైక్ దిస్ అండ్ టీ వన్ జీరో మోడ్లో కొంత ఎనర్జీ పెట్టి పంపించాను అందులో కొంత పవర్ అన్నది ట్రాన్స్మిట్ అవుతుంది కొంత పవర్ రిఫ్లెక్ట్ అయిపోతుంది ఓకే సో ఇఫ్ ఐ ట్రై టు ఫైండ్ హౌ మచ్ ఎనర్జీ ఈజ్ యాక్చువల్లీ బౌన్సింగ్ బ్యాక్ అండ్ ఫోర్త్ ఓకే అంటే ఇది అంత రియల్ పవర్ ఇఫ్ ఐ కెన్ ట్రై టు ఫైండ్ హౌ మచ్ అమౌంట్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ ఇమాజినరీ ఆర్ రియాక్టివ్ పవర్ ఈజ్ ఎక్స్చేంజింగ్ అట్ ద పోర్ట్స్ then i can find what is an equivalent reactive reactance that is present at the port so it like end and day these kind of junctions i can model them in terms of networks okay if i can model them in terms of networks then my analysis become easier so network in the model cheskoni deen meeda oka waves propagate avutunnan anukunte enta wave couple avutundi enta reflection vastundi ivanni nen model cheyadam easy avutadi so that is how this kind of equivalent uh, network transmission and analysis uh, it will help us in analyzing the network models and all but anyways for examples you say godi you probably understand it better okay so let me uh, point to this analysis so usually two port networks ekku deal chestam ani cheppanu so two port networks ni impedance matrix padi deal cheyadam manaku kavana ga unna alavatu 
impedance matrix anad gotta thing kada nanna say for example i have here four ports like this and uh, some network is there in the middle i don't know what is that network okay it can be some wave gates ni mix chesi undochu wave gates ki chala holes petti atlanchi network output teeskunte undochu anything can be inside this network okay so usually we have some voltages and currents at every port okay so ports ana ve endante ports ela define chestamo we'll talk afterwards but plain ante uh this four transmission lines ikkada ante idi micro network nanna ee micro network ki some ports antamu so the arbitrary locations uh, known as ports of the network so ikkada ikkada pettina planes and ports ani anukuntunnamu ee ports ki enti ante ports tho communicate avadaniki usually we connect some transmission lines to communicate with the ports so ee ports de- define cheyadam anadu chaala important we'll talk about how we define ports and all uh, to a micro network so this network could be some kind of linear device or some kind of complex uh, micro system but ee mottham system ki oka z matrix anadu define chestuntam adhe kada impedance matrix ante so impedance matrix ela define chestam i guess you already know it okay so if you have uh, n networks uh, you define v and i okay the voltage the total voltage and the total current at the networks are related with respect to the z matrix okay so how do you find the z matrix and for example edo na oka network undu ankonde say if i want to find z an element okay how do you find z an element as an example ikkada four port network kabatti say nenu em calculate cheddam anukuntna ante so ante so i can say v1 is equal to z11 i1 plus z12 i2 plus z13 i3 plus z14 i4 right so for example if i want to calculate z12 z12 is nothing but v1 by pone ikkada z13 chestam ikkada actual ga z13 chestam z13 ankonde z1 అంటే it is nothing but the ratio of uh, v1 by i2 when if i can make i1 equal to 0 and i2 equal to 0 and uh, sorry i3 equal to 0 and i4 equal to 0 i think how can you make the currents go to 0 usually in order to make current go to 0 the common thing which we do is we make it a open circuit okay so i think okay chinna problem enti ante if you remember ట్రాన్స్మిషన్ లైన్ అనాలిసిస్ చెప్తున్నప్పుడు ఒక సర్క్యూట్ తీసుకుని ఇఫ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ అ సర్క్యూట్ ఆఫ్ లైన్ లెంగ్త్ ఎల్ ఈ లైన్ లెంగ్త్ ఎల్ ఉంది అనుకోండి అండ్ ఇఫ్ ఐ డూ అన్ ఓపెన్ సర్క్యూట్ వాట్ విల్ బి ద ఇన్పుట్ ఇంపిడెన్స్ జెడ్ ఇన్ ఎంత వస్తుంది అని చెప్పాను డిపెండ్స్ ఆన్ ద లైన్ లెంగ్త్ రైట్ సో యూ గెట్ సంథింగ్ మైనస్ జే జెడ్ నాట్ కాట్ బీటల్ అనేది వచ్చాను అంటే లైన్ లెంగ్త్ బట్టి ఈ జెడ్ ఇన్ అన్నది ఇట్ కెన్ బి ఇట్ కెన్ యాక్ట్ లైక్ ఎ కెపాసిటివ్ ఇంపిడెన్స్ ఆర్ ఇట్ కెన్ బి అన్ ఇండక్టివ్ ఇంపిడెన్స్ అండ్ సో ఆన్ okay so can i make the current go to zero at a open circuit cheyadam ante micro frequencies lo open circuit ni design cheyadam e chala kashtam okay because if you have to create an open circuit how do you create an open circuit is a big question okay at lower frequencies it's not an issue but as you go to higher and higher frequencies the length of the line or even the length of the port the port length ekkada port ekkada place chesaru anna dani batti circuit characteristics mottham maaripothayi okay because for example my port ikkada define chesaru ala kaakunda inkoka person porpatna port ikkada define cheskunnad ankonde then the then the circuit then the network z matrix completely changes why it changes ante because for an open circuit ikkada open circuit pete parameters define chestam kabatti this open circuit parameters are completely dependent upon your length so ee port ikkada define chesam anadu chaala important ayipothu appudu right where you put the port that that changes the behavior 
ఆఫ్ ది నెట్వర్క్ యాక్చువల్ గా నెట్వర్క్ ఎలా బిహేవ్ చేస్తుందో నెట్వర్క్ బిహేవియర్ అన్నది మీరు పోర్ట్స్ ఎక్కడ పెట్టారు అన్న దాని మీద డిపెండ్ అవ్వకూడదు యూజువల్లీ దట్ షుడ్ నాట్ బి ద కేస్ సో మీరు పోర్ట్ అంటే మీరు ఇన్పుట్ ఎక్కడి నుంచి తీసుకుంటున్నారో ఎక్కడి నుంచి తీసుకుంటున్నారా లేకపోతే ఇన్పుట్ ఎక్కడ తీసుకుంటున్నారో ఎక్కడ తీసుకుంటున్నారో అన్న దాన్ని బట్టి యువర్ నెట్వర్క్ బిహేవియర్ షుడ్ నాట్ చేంజ్ మచ్ ఓకే బట్ ఇఫ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఇఫ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ అంటే అది ఎక్కువ చేంజ్ అవుతుంది అంటే అప్పుడు దట్ కైండ్ ఆఫ్ అనాలిసిస్ ఇస్ నాట్ యూస్ఫుల్ అనే కదా so that is why even though ante mer if you can if you have the capability of defining the port exactly correct location of the port define cheyagaligi and a port valla network property influence avvatledu ante appudu z matrix ni even micro frequency to use cheyachu so and moreover the z matrix usually is a function of frequency and again at different frequencies your network can change its behavior అట్లానే ఇంపిడెన్స్ మ్యాట్రిక్స్ అది జెడ్ మ్యాట్రిక్స్ ఇంపిడెన్స్ మ్యాట్రిక్స్ అన్న అడ్మిటెన్స్ మ్యాట్రిక్స్ అంటే ఐ గెస్ యు నో ద అడ్మిటెన్స్ మ్యాట్రిక్స్ ఇస్ రిలేటెడ్ బిట్వీన్ బిట్వీన్ కరెంట్స్ అండ్ వోల్టేజెస్ అండ్ హౌ డూ యూ ఫైండ్ అండ్ అడ్మిటెన్స్ అడ్మిటెన్స్ కావాలి అంటే నా ఇట్ ఇస్ లైక్ ఐ వన్ ఇస్ ఈక్వల్ టు వై వన్ వన్ టైమ్స్ ఆఫ్ వి వన్ ప్లస్ వై వన్ టూ టైమ్స్ ఆఫ్ వి టూ ప్లస్ వై వన్ త్రీ టైమ్స్ ఆఫ్ వి త్రీ ప్లస్ వై వన్ ఫోర్ టైమ్స్ ఆఫ్ వి ఫోర్ రైట్ సో ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఇఫ్ ఐ వాంట్ వై వన్ 3 then it is nothing but i1 by v3 with what with v1 equal to 0 v2 equal to 0 and v4 equal to 0 and then when you and if you want to measure the y parameter of a micro network you basically have to uh, short circuit the ports even short circuiting is a difficult parameter and then short circuit chesina appudu kuda there is length dependency if you remember if you take a transmission line and if you make a short circuit of it the input impedance is a function of uh, the line parameters sorry tan beta l loss so you can see that if i use this impedance or admittance matrices at uh, higher frequencies okay the problem is the measuring of these kind of parameters and mere port ekkad place chesaru ane dani meda mee microwave network yokka properties maaripochu ante the z matrix and y matrix can change okay so you have to deal with a lot of care so that పోర్ట్ మీరు ఎక్కడ పోర్ట్ తీసుకున్నారు అన్న దానివల్ల నెట్వర్క్ ప్రాపర్టీస్ మారకుండా ఉండే లాంటి పోర్ట్స్ చూస్ చేసుకుని దాన్ని బేస్ చేసుకుని వై పారామీటర్స్ జెడ్ పారామీటర్స్ డీల్ చేయాల్సి వస్తుంది సో విచ్ ఇస్ డిఫికల్ట్ థింగ్ టు డూ ఓకే సో యూజువల్లీ అండ్ మోర్ ఓవర్ క్రియేటింగ్ ఎట్ షార్ట్ సర్క్యూట్ ఆర్ క్రియేటింగ్ అన్ ఓపెన్ సర్క్యూట్ ఎట్ హైయర్ ఫ్రీక్వెన్సీస్ ఇస్ ఆల్సో డిఫికల్ట్ టాస్క్ సో ద మెజర్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ జెడ్ మ్యాట్రిక్స్ అండ్ వై మ్యాట్రిసెస్ ఇస్ బే basically a difficult task as you go to higher and higher frequencies but even though they are difficult these matrices gives us some perspective into the networks so ee nerchukodam valla upayogam untadi definitely endante uh or z matrix you know on the impedance matrix tells say y matrix atla calculate cheyachandi you can take the inverse of it and you can get the answer that is one way of doing it so z is equal to y inverse or y is equal to z inverse okay we, i think the properties were already studied as i'm not sure if a network is lossless and the network like a resistive components em lev ankonde then uh, their the real part of uh, the complete matrix will be equal to zero and then me z matrix kanavandi y matrix kanavandi uh, those matrices will be only complex matrices you don't have any real pa- real values inside the parameters and for example oka matrix teeskunnanu ila undu anukundam say someone say the z matrix is minus 40 40j 50j minus 40 is it a, a lossy network or lossless network it's a it's a lossy one because you can see that the pyramid we have some uh, real values of course sorry ikkada minus under the land plus teeskunte the z matrix uh, okay so there are some resistive values so definitely the network is a loss, lossy network so this is a lossy one సో లాసెస్ లాస్లెస్ ఉండాలి అంటే మేబీ ఇక్కడ కూడా జే అని ఉంది అనుకోండి ఓకే దట్ మీన్స్ ఎవ్రీవేర్ ది ఇంపార్టెన్స్ ఈజ్ ఓన్లీ రియాక్టివ్ సో ద నెట్వర్క్ బికమ్స్ లాస్లెస్ రెసిప్రోకల్ నెట్వర్క్స్ అంటే కూడా మీకు తెలిసిందే సో యూ నో దాట్ ఇఫ్ నెట్వర్క్ ఈజ్ రెసిప్రోకల్ దెన్ ద ట్రాన్స్పోర్స్ విల్ బీ ఈక్వల్ ఓకే జెడ్ ఈక్వల్ టు జెడ్ ట్రాన్స్పోర్స్ అయితే రెసిప్రోకల్ నెట్వర్క్స్ అవుతాయి ఇక్కడ ఐ హ్యావ్ ఫోర్ నెట్వర్క్స్ సో ఇందులో విచ్ వన్ ది ఫస్ట్ వన్ ఏంటి అన్న ఫస్ట్ వన్ ఈజ్ ఇట్ రెసిప్రోకల్ is the first matrix reciprocal network no 
no it is neither reciprocal or it is neither lossless okay whereas if i take this one this uh, sorry this one uh, is uh, is lossless okay but it is not reciprocal okay whereas this is reciprocal but it is not lossless endukante ikkada real parts unnai kabatti idu endante this is both lossless and it is as well as reciprocal okay you can see that z is equal to z transpose diagonal pi na kind of same undi kabatti z is equal to z transpose vastadi atlane anni complex numbers kabatti it is a lossless and reciprocal network so these kind of things i guess you have already dealt in lower low frequencies uh, ఆ చెప్పండి నాన్న సివే క్లాస్ నుంచి సర్ 11 30 11 30 కే బ్యాచ్ బ్యాచ్ 2 కి సర్ రైట్ ఓకే దెన్ దెన్ విల్ విల్ కంక్లూడ్ ది క్లాస్ మేబీ విల్ కంటిన్యూ ఇన్ ది నెక్స్ట్ సెషన్ ఓకే సర్ ఓకే నాన్న థాంక్యూ యు కెన్ లీవ్ ది క్లాస్